Hi right, guys, it's Alf 76 here. Well, I'm just cleaning up the pipes with some pipe gel, and it makes a fantastic job of back to silver the pipes. And it's very difficult to get the brown off, to get scrubbing and applying lots of them. So, right now, I'm doing an oil filter change and uh, to remove the, uh, the belly pan, which is only four screws. Uh, four screws that come off. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, the belly pan obviously comes here. There's only two screws there and two screws there, and that just comes off, slides off. And you get to the bolt where it's holding the oil and the oil filter. Uh, you want to remove and change that before um, before anything. So I got something like this. That's grabbing onto the oil filter and uh, make sure that's loosened up so I can then first clear out the oil, uh, remove the oil, and uh, and uh, what do you call it? Uh, change the oil filter. But we've got to start the engine up, warm it up as it's warm for a couple of minutes or five minutes. Uh, switch it off and then drain the oil out and you're going to put about 3.7 litres of uh, Castrol 10W40 uh, fully synthetic if you wish uh, that should do the job it's for a switchable R so that's what you need to do I want you to use a 13 inch 13 mil bolt and that will just loosen up the other bolt for a bit more and that should do the job, that's the first part Right, after twisting the, uh, the bolt out that's how much oil has come out the oil filter I've managed to use a pair of type of wrenches and yeah I'd say it's about six months old I ride nearly every day so I like to keep it clean and change the oil. Keep keep my service must and take the annual ones to um, try it themselves. See, well, these should be more than enough to grab hold of this part. So when we're putting this bolt back, we're going to be putting a bit of oil around it. And then then we'll put that back. Huh? Okay, so putting the oil back in, but before doing that, we're going to be putting the uh, the box back in and the filler and the oil filter. So um, after about 25 minutes of letting it drip and it will come down, uh, put some oil around the new washer and <clears throat> and reconnect the bolt back in put oil on there and then retighten the bolt you want it pretty tight, not obviously it's way over the tight. You want how it's prescribed to be and clean up this oil. So Okay, had to put the oil filter in. So all we have to do is hand tighten it. That tight enough. I may have to put some oil around the filter too and we'll just hand tighten it across and well, that's all we need to do ok guys this is what we're putting in so that's recommended <coughs> for the Triumph Street Triple <coughs> so it's all empty dipstick is dry showing nothing so we get this topped up 
I'm not quite sure the always right on and uh, get on with it. <clears throat> so what we've got to do is put in 3.7 litres of oil or at least 3.5 to 3.7 so I've gone up to about uh, just over 3 to show you what so, so this is a good stuff I'm going to carry on putting it on and then I got to start the engine because I'm leaving one for three to four minutes uh, or maybe some more and then uh, and then check the dip dip <coughs> check the level and check if there's any oil leaks anywhere and starting the bike up um, I see some drip there but I gotta see if that's coming in so it's already been there before from the rain that's been poured but there we go again Okay, just checking the dip and the oil level after the fill up. I've just screwed it in, put the dip back in. And just checking where we are. So it's just, ooh. You can see that it's just above the middle, the top. And I think we've got more than enough. Maybe a little bit too much. But I think we're okay. It's on the upper bit of the stick. There's plenty. That spike is slightly pushed up. So it's dead. So we'll just I'll leave it running uh, for a few minutes. And that should do the drip. Okay, thanks for watching.